I'm back with another round of exciting updates from the ever popular in development desktop environment called Cosmic Desktop, the Rust based desktop environment coming to us from System76. This time I'm talking about community development and the latest development by the System76 team. Also, an exciting update at the end of the video, so stick around as we talk about some of the new community features, such as this Cosmic styled Discord called Vestop. Now available in the Cosmic Desktop, it has consistent styling with the entire Cosmic desktop shell, which overall I definitely like. As we can see here, a general screenshot of what Discord would be like using it on the Cosmic desktop. Community members have been hard at work here, and so has the System76 team. Runtime configurable keyboard shortcuts have been approved upon. They are now merged, as we can specify all the varying different keyboards to our liking. For example, moving windows down, left, right, up, going between workspaces, opening up new workspaces, and much, much more are all now available in settings under the keyboard keyboard shortcuts for the Cosmic Desktop. This is fantastic as they are giving us more and more control of our desktop environments. Being able to configure the keyboard shortcuts will be a great thing. Also, the API documentation for LibCosmic has seen a bunch of updates as well, including the Cosmic Toolkit LibCosmic. The LibCosmic handbook has received updates so that more people can personalize and configure the widget library and build consistent and responsive applications. Wonderful information put in here for the toolkit. You'll definitely want to check it out if you want to develop for Cosmic. It's quite exciting that we are already seeing API documentation for LibCosmic and that there's a bunch added in to the LibCosmic book, which is another great thing that the developers at System76 have given us because what's a desktop environment that can't customize it yourself? Well, they take this to heart and make sure that we understand all the workings in order to make our own customized environment. So I'm going to put a link in the description below so you can start developing with LibCosmic right now. The Cosmic Crate has also seen updates as well, including new modules that can do things like start an app, create asynchronous actions that can be performed in the background, use the core library of Iced, that way you can program a graphical user interface more easily, and many more things such as subscriptions, events, and the general Cosmic Widget library. This makes it really easy to start building apps and tools as well, and some community improvements have been made in order to more easily start your own Cosmic app. With Eduardo Flores's Cosmic App Template. It has now been approved in order to have a nav bar, context drawers, and menu bars. It's all demonstrated now in the source code. That way you can start building your apps faster. Speaking about improvements, there's been optimizations to make server-side headers slimmer, and the header density configuration was added for testing header bar sizes. The team is constantly here improving things and optimizing as well. There's also been improvements to inactive windows now having header icons so that they are appropriately themed for any inactive colors. All these improvements and optimizations because they're heavily focused on making this thing perfect when it gets released. This is what I love to see in a open source project. High focus on the quality of life for the user as they are really focused on not only bringing us the desktop environments in itself, but a overall wonderful, performant, and consistent experience. The Flex Row widget in LibCosmic now uses Taffy for its layout. Similar to the Grid widget, another improvement and if you like the improvements that System76 is making and the reports I do on it, make sure to smash that like button to get more. Let's talk about additional improvements to LibCosmic as the flex row gets better alignment with additional fields for configuring alignment and justification and settings also now can use the WGPU renderer like the rest of the Cosmic applications, therefore improving its performance. Again, it's not only quality of life here, but these are performant improvements that are being made. They're definitely getting close here as the community is also implementing their own applications and making things better as well. For example, Iced Accessibility, a work in progress pull request that upstreams the accessibility work done by System76 to the LibCosmic and the Ice platforms. Also a neat search feature added to the file manager or browser called Cosmic Files, which will help us in searching through all the varying different folders and files that we have on our system, giving us a global search at the first release. Definitely want to get my hands on this so I can test this a little bit more. I'll be doing that in a video soon, so you'll want to make sure to subscribe below. That way you're notified when Whenever I release that video. I want to see how performant it is and how fast it actually surges through and gets its results. It's a big make it or break it for a lot of file managers. And because people are excited to contribute to the Cosmic Rust desktop, well, a third party contributor has added a release notes button that updates the user in the Cosmic store on what version they're actually running here. Notice here you hit updates. You can get updated to the latest version as well as it displays what the latest version is and what your current version is as well. A nice little touch as people are getting excited to develop 
developed for Rust Cosmic Desktop, even out of the team for, of System76. Attached launch processes to System D scopes. This is another contribution from a community member adding System D scopes to support the Cosmic session. It still needs to be tested locally, but there is persistent and great work being done here as well. And you can definitely tell that people are highly focused on trying to get this desktop performant and stable as high CPU usage when visualizing a PDF with Firefox was found. What you're seeing here is Firefox on GNOME 46. You can see around 0.19% CPU usage and around 300 megabytes of resource usage while running a PDF viewer. Then on Cosmic, we see the same thing running a PDF, but with 1.81% CPU usage, a significant jump in 457.5 megabytes of memory. As fast as this was opened, it was also closed as a fix was implemented down the chain here. As new scheduling logic was implemented, this made sure that only send frame callbacks were sent once per vblank, which in simple terms means a fix was made. And that's what I love to see about this particular project. Not only is System76 tuned in here with the community, but the community is also tuned in and contributing to the System76 project as well. This Rust Cosmic desktop has seen so much excitement and there's good reason for it. There's such a high focus on including so many apps that people have been missing on other desktop environments, but also trying to make it as performant as possible so it can stack up against the likes of GNOME and KDE and some of the big desktop environments in town. Looks like Cosmic is going to come out with a punch as more and more people get involved and keep contributing. Another app that was contributed is the external monitor brightness applet for Cosmic desktop. Now you can change the brightness of external monitors directly from a sub menu on the status bar, including being able to quickly toggle your system on and off from dark mode. Another cool app, if you want to install it now available on Flathub is the Oboete app. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it is a very straightforward, easy to use flashcard application designed to help users study and memorize things. So you can easily install this now from Flathub if you want. Definitely give it a shot. It's a pretty cool app. I'll be diving more in depth with this one as well pretty soon here. Just wanted to make sure that you're aware that it is available and ready to go. And it is, of course, community built. And the last thing I want to leave you with is the Cosmic brand reveal is here. And they got some cool art with a freedom sale to celebrate the anticipated launch of the Cosmic Alpha, which I'm hoping is coming soon. They have some specials for sale, including the Thelio refurbished desktop starting at $800. Laptop bags as well, including a backpack. I'm loving their new O logo mark as it's meant to signify the unwavering commitment to open source from the System76 team. They're doing a great job here. If you want to support them, make sure to go to System76 and purchase something from them. I'm super excited about this alpha. Make sure you post in the comment section below if you are excited as well. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.